I haven't played this game in a while. So as you can see, this game sort of takes after Galaga. Um, I hope you guys can hear the system sounds. That's part of what I'm going to test out. But, I mean, most of the funny stuff in this game is, like, the sound. Yes. So I'm going to try to explain things as I'm going along. Um, your objective in each level is just to kill all the enemies. The faster you kill them, the better the bonus you get. And you want to score points because points mean extra lives. Of course, they al also mean high score. Um, I got a couple of presents in that level. One of them... Okay, slow down. One of them... Oh, crap. I pressed the shield key too late. That's the only way to avoid a pentagon. To avoid dying from a pentagon if it comes down at you. That's the only enemy in the game that you have to use the shield to, uh, to avoid dying from it. Um, unfortunately, I lost my extra move speed, and I just missed that shooting speed there. Uh, the presents are color-coded. If, you know if you know what colors mean what, then you can know what a present is before you get it. Um, there are different types of enemies. They have different roles. That flashing ball is called a Krushu. It's a swarm leader. I don't know why this is going so slow. Maybe just because I've been running a bunch of programs at once. But, I mean, the reason why I chose this game is, or one of the reasons is because it uses very little memory. Okay. Wow. This is not going well. Maybe next time I do this, I should close all of the other programs besides the game I'm playing and the, uh, and the capture software. 100% destruction! Alright, this means I can choose a present. Uh, am I gonna pick faster shots. You can get up to two faster shots. Um, oh yeah, whatever points you get in the bonus round are added to your bonus, so if you got a bonus multiplier as I did, then those points are also, also multiplied. I know this is all probably very confusing. Um, <laughs> again, it, you sort of need to play the game for a while. Ah. I didn't need to use my shield there. After the second level, you need to shoot the supply ships or else they won't drop presents. Ooh, got that pentagon in midair. Um, if you get an enemy while it's diving, you get more points, or you get bonus points, rather. That present is point six thousand. So you can see I have a very high bonus now. That's sort of in the upper right. Not quite at the corner, but near it. Alright, um, yeah, I'm wondering if I should really be running this on a computer that frankly doesn't have that much processing power. <laughs> um, so this is part of what I'm considering. I know I've, I'm in the minority in being a, a camera lp -er. I'm in the minority in being a camera lp -er, and that's because of, of course, video quality is better if you have a capture card. So this is part of a transition that I may make, I'm not making any promises, but I'm thinking of going to a capture card uh, sometime in the future. And I'm, yes. and if it takes me a while to figure out how to do it, then in the meantime I will just keep posting videos in the way I have been posting them um, until I figure it out. So the thing with the star on it is a challenge medal. You can see in the upper right that I have one. That means I do a bonus stage. Yeah, I'll choose another speed. My shield's fine. Move would be nice, but I think this is more important. Plus, when you die, you can only use, lose one um, speed at a time. That uh sound meant extra life. Well, an advantage of slowdown is that I see these things coming at me. I have more time to react. Um, every four levels, the swarm type changes, all the enemy types change. See a present moving like that, then just don't get right under it. Or if you're, you 
you have to get right under it. Don't stay right under it, or, or else it'll just go up off the screen like that. The only way to get those presents is to approach them from the side. Now, these swarm leaders shoot periodically rather than at random times. Uh, it's sort of hard to see it in this level. In the next level, it's much easier to see, but the thing at the top of its head opens up, and when it's fully open, that means it's about to shoot. Just stay still to bait these worm flagellates, they're called. Just stay still to bait them into diving, and then, because they dive straight down, you'll usually hit, it. hit them. And a thousand extra points for each one. Um, other than 50 points for each enemy, all of your points go to bonus, which means it's important to finish levels quickly. Yeah, now that it's not slowed down so much... Oh, crap, I missed everything. I missed the bonus blip and the... Alright, here's another supply ship. Supply ship types change every two levels. The later the level is, the more points you get for destroying it. Alright, here's the challenge medal. And... Ah, come on, die. Enemies generally die in one hit, except for the guards, the things around the swarm leaders. Alright, this bonus level is... This challenge round is much harder than the previous one. I already missed a couple. Oh well, I'll just try to get as many as I can. Um... Yeah, I first played this game when I was really little. My aunt had it on her computer, um, and we would oh, yeah, not too bad. But you only get to be, you only get to pick a present if you get a hundred percent. Okay, so this level is a kind of a strange formation here. Uh, ooh, ooh, me one. The bonus multipliers go 2, 3, 4, 5. They change every level. Um, so it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Uh, I can't get that present. Oh, well, I don't really need it. That's just more shield. And as you can see, my shield is almost full. Shield is something you have to use manually. Oh, crap. Alright, I lose one of my speeds as well as one of my lives, of course. Almost lost another one right there. That was dumb. And in case you're wondering, there was a Solarian one, but it was never released to the public. I think it was just sort of like a project that the developers did as a practice or something. I don't know. Uh, this game is available online. It's, I think, $20 to unlock the full version. Otherwise, you can only play it for, like, five times and you can only go up to level five, something like that. Um, I do have the full version, obviously. Um, about 270,000 e. Yeah, you can try to bait the flagellates into diving early here so that they don't get in your way later. Oh crap, that wasn't what I wanted. Did not want the bonus multiplier to appear so far away from where I was. They do disappear after a while. I'm not going for that bonus blip. It's going to go away way before I get there. Uh, bonus multipliers stay on the screen the longest. Uh, challenge medals stay for medium amount of time. Bonus blips don't stay for very long. And this is level 8, which means it's the last level of this swarm. Then we're going to see the last swarm type. There are um, 16 levels. The 16th level ends in a boss. As you saw in the high scores, I have won a few times, but it's very, very difficult to win this game. Okay, now it, now it gets into no more Mr. Nice game. The divers in this swarm are oings. I hate Oings. They're those turquoise and purple balls. I don't... I... If there is a pattern to when they dive, I have not figured it out. It seems like they just dive at random times. And they're really fast. 
that one I could see coming, so I could dodge it. Also, the spots, the, the, yeah, they just, oh crap, that was dumb. Spots just drop a whole lot of projectiles in a very short amount of time. I am not doing nearly as well as I could, as I did, you know, when I was really in practice. Oh, this next level is tough, especially if you don't have any speed. Whoa, see, that's what I mean about the oings. That one, the only reason that one didn't kill me is because I managed, ran into one of my shots. All right, going for the challenge medal. Yikes. All right, Sly the Eye, the swarm leader for this phase, also fires per periodically. I totally missed both of those supply ships. Uh, fires periodically. It fires more quickly than the Udi, which is the swarm leader for previous one. Also, the annoying thing about Sly, you can't hit it unless the eye's open. Uh, the triangles take five hits apiece. Like I said, everything dies in one hit except for the guards, though in the final boss, of course. Um, but I don't think you guys are going to see the final boss on this run because I've just not played well enough. Uh, yeah, I would have to get through six more levels after this one. The height of the... Oh, I got one. The height of the eyes is kind of annoying because it's like... It's... Ye, because of the timing of your firing, it gets it can be kind of hard to hit them. Uh, if the only enemies left in the stage are guards, then the guards just die automatically, as you will see here. If I can actually get this thing. There. All right. And this is a very difficult challenge round. I have never gotten 100% on this challenge round. Mostly because of these first enemies. I think I've gotten, like, around 90%, but I've never gotten all. Well... Yeah, there's no way to get shots this fast outside of the challenge round. Whoopsies. That was dumb. If you die in the challenge round, you don't actually lose a life, which is good. Okay, this next level is a pain. The coins will dive at you on mass. Satellites are worth 5,000 points each. I missed that one, and I also got myself killed. I don't know if I'm going to survive till 450,000. Come on, shoot the... <clears throat> well, I shot it, but I died. Alright, last life now. I didn't think I'd die this early. On the plus side, this may fit in a 15-minute video now. <laughs> I really do hope the audio comes through. I know I said that before. I mean the game audio. I'm pretty sure my voice is going to come through okay. This has been a problem for me since I started Let's Playing, you know, getting a balance between my voice and the game audio. Of course, it's even more complicated when I have guest commentators. Come on, die. Thank you. Alright, if I could get past this next level, I might get an extra life, but this level, like the others, is kind of tough. Okay, that was a scissor I just used. Well, kills everything in a line. I like to save it for the final boss, but... You know what? You can get a, you can get, um, a scissor in a present occasionally, so... 
And, yeah, I have more pressing things on my mind, like actually surviving. And these things are annoying. It's like it's so hard even to get anywhere. It's so hard to get into a position where you could actually shoot something. Like try to get at least one of the... No, I didn't. Ah, crap! I was not watching where I was going. <laughs> well, that was a fail.